obviously as a businessman you uh, you you need uh, people in that building across the road who are uh, you know so good for good for business so what do you think about that's uh, mi6 isn't it yeah, it is at his mi6 <laughs> just up there is yeah. westminster yeah. um so what about what about the new leader of the labor party good for business no not really i mean i i, I don't know i mean look I'm an ordinary, I consider myself an ordinary member of the public at, at times, okay? And up until about three or four months ago, I'd never heard of him, right? And I think if you ask, uh, um, you know, a hundred people in the street four months ago about this fella, um, they would have said, no, I'd never heard of him. Uh, and I don't know where he came from. He, he came from, you know, he obviously got voted in by these, um, I think it cost you... 30 quid to become a member of the Labour Party or something, temporary membership, and then uh, someone must have drummed that up. I don't know who that was. Um, and they voted him in. And um, But he is there. Um, well, he's been voted in, but I, 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 I... You know, my personal opinion is, is that I, do, I, I cannot visualise someone like him talking to Angela Merkel or, or Barack Obama or... Uh, or Francois Hollande, or, or I just can't. Does, would the public like him um, talking talking to those people, representing us as as, as the prime minister of this country? I, I don't think so. I don't know what his, his his policies are. It's taken us back. I think from what I've gleaned so far, is he wants to go back about 40 years in time, uh, when perhaps there was a need for protection of the. Uh, of the uh, of the oppressed uh, uh, population.